Welcome back to the Friday 13th YouTube channel. Today I've got an album review for you by the band Balance of Power. Now most of you guys may remember these guys from many years ago. They made a comeback and are about to release their new album, released on Massacre Records. The album's called Fresh from the Abyss, released on the 19th of this month of April. Check it out. Now Balance of Power were formed originally back in 1995 by keyboard player Ivan Gunn, alongside Lionel Hicks, on drums would also have Chris Dale on bass and vocal original vocalist Tony Ritchie, along with original guitarists Bill Yates and Paul Curtis. 19 years later, the band have made a comeback with this new album that's called Fresh From The Abyss. It's certainly different from the previous albums, it's less progressive, and they've moved in a different direction. Now, this new album contains eight songs, so I'm going to tell you the song titles before I tell you about the lineup. So this album will consist of Last Man Down, Never Be Here Again, Monsters, Rage of Ages, Abyss, Velocity, Deadlands, and the last song will be called One More Time Around the Sun. So who's in the lineup now? Well, we've got two original members. First, I'm going to tell you all the new singer is. It's a female singer called Hazel Jade. We we'll have Chris Ishmore on guitars, Stony Wagner on guitars, Tony Ritchie on bass guitar, original bassist. We'd have Julian Fescas. We'd have original drummer Lionel Hicks and keyboard player Julian Beatulis on keyboards. Now, this album was produced by Lionel Hicks. Like I said, he's done previous albums. It was also joined by former Little Angels vocalist Toby Jepson. Now, Toby's also worked with Saxon. Now, the mixing and editing for this album was done by Sam Loy, remixed by Mike Plottinkoff. With the additional artwork, the design cover was done by Stuart Daly, artwork by Dance Ants White. Now, this album definitely does have the Lionel Hicks trademark on production. A crisp, solid sounding production. Since the album has been produced and recorded, they've had a couple of lineups changes. We'd have Chris Hill on guitars and Adam Wardy on guitars. Now, the opening track, Glass Man's Down, is a fantastic opener. It's still pretty much progressive, it's definitely got the old trademark of Balance of Power. Hazel's vocals, however, are pretty good. They do remind me of a band called Beautiful Sin, who released an album on AFM Record back in the day. Now, I think Hazel's got a pretty good voice, and it's very strange to hear the band making a comeback with a female singer. We're all used to hearing Lance or Tony. And there's one good thing to say about Hazel's vocals. At least she's not trying to sound like one of those symphonic metal singers. Now, at times, this song also reminds me of a little bit of Van Cole Pagan's Man from Norway, especially with the keyboard solo. Now, I do wish that this album was a little bit more progressive like previous albums. They've gone in a slightly different direction, as I said. There are elements of Balance of Power's previous albums in this album. Next song is called Never Be Here Again. This is less progressive than the first opening track. The song is also a little bit more laid back as previous songs. And I'm not sure how old Balance of Power fans are going to take this song or this album. I'm hoping you're going to like it. But like I said, it is different from previous Balance of Power albums. Now, I've listened to this album a couple of times, and I just feel this album lacks the progressive and power of previous albums, which is a crying shame because they are talented musicians and Hazel's got a pretty good voice. At times, the next song, Monster, has some pretty good elements and some pretty heavy parts. However, I do feel that like this song really doesn't pick up in places, sadly. Next song is called Rage of Ages. Now, this is a pretty cool song, but it, like I said, it lacks the energy and power of previous albums. And I don't understand why this band haven't come back with such a powerful album. It's a good album, don't get me wrong. Now, the next song is called Abyss. This has a little bit more of an up-tempo and a little bit more heavier than previous songs. Now, I just wish that the band had gone back to previous album style of music. This is a good album, however, but I do feel that it lacks the energy and the progressiveness of previous albums. Production's good, the songs are pretty strong, and I wish the band well, and I'm pretty hoping sure that the next album will go back to the old stool, Balance of Power. So for that reason, I'm going to give this album three and a half out of five. This is my personal choice. I much prefer the previous albums. Anyway, Metal Edge, check out the link so you can hear the album, a song from the album at least. So leave comments, let me know what you think. But I wish the band all the best. Thanks for watching, Metal Heads. More reviews coming soon.